Hello, humans. I have the droid here, and I'm going to tell you all about it when we get back. I've got the Motorola Droid by Verizon and Google, and I don't think I'm going to give this thing back. Seriously, I'm supposed to, but I really don't want to. It really puts my BlackBerry to shame. I, I'm just being honest, okay? And listen, I've never had an iPhone, so, you know, people can say what they want about how cool iPhones are, but seriously, this Droid is it's just amazing. Honestly, I've had so much fun setting it up, putting all my apps on it, taking pictures, using video. It also has turn-by-turn -turn directions using Google Maps. I mean, there's just a ton of features with this phone, and it's all touchscreen, but you also have the QWERTY keyboard. And that's one of the reasons I never got an iPhone, was actually because I have fat thumbs, and it's hard for me to type on a touchscreen. But you have the option of doing both, the touchscreen and the QWERTY keyboard. And you even have this uh, touchpad mouse thing too. A lot of people think it's a fingerprint reader, but a fingerprint reader, but it actually is a navigational uh, mouse. Uh, so overall, this is a really cool phone, and uh, definitely one of the best smartphones I've ever played with. It's actually the first smartphone with Android 2.0, and you have 3G speeds. Uh, you can do multitasking. I put Pandora on here. I put all my different email accounts. Uh, I downloaded some really really cool apps and. I've just been having re uh, just having so much fun with this droid. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it, go into the specs, and then give you a tour of this fabulous new phone. All right, first off, let's talk about the screen. It has a 3.7-inch display. It's WVGA 854 by 480 is the resolution, and you have 40,000 pixels on here. Uh, all touch with the pull-out QWERTY keyboard, okay? So let's pull out the keyboard. So you can see, look at that, QWERTY keyboard. keyboard. Um, now you have 16 gigs of internal storage, but you can expand that to be 32 gigs. Now this phone is 13.7 millimeters thick, all right? It doesn't take up too much room. It's really lightweight. And overall, I can't believe all of the cool features it has for being such a small, light, and thin phone. Uh, you also have 802.11 BNG to surf the web, as well as Bluetooth 2.1 plus EDR. Now, right now, we are on the home page, and there's a couple things I want to uh, point out. First of all, you do have a notification bar. Right here, you'll see all of your icons, things that you need to be notified for. First one is system updates. The second is my Google Talk, and then I have my emails that I need to check as well. And if you pull down on this tab, um, you will see all of your notifications pop up and you can just flip that back up like so. All right. Also at the top, uh, you'll see you have a Google search function and you also can do Google search by voice like so. Let's try this out. Miami Dolphins. All right. And what it's going to do, it's going to pop up a web page and tell me the latest scores. They just played the Jacksonville Jaguars last night. Uh, and it will give me um, their schedule, all their news, ticket information, everything like that. And that search took about two seconds. Okay, That's how fast you have uh, access to everything you need with the 3G. All right. So let's get out of here. And if you go down to the bottom of the phone, um, there's a couple icons that we can point out. First one is back. This uh, next one is kind of a, it's a menu, basically menu options. Uh, home and search again. So let's just go home. So this is my main home page. All the apps that I use the most, the phone, email, uh, Facebook, my contacts. Now the Android market, that is where you download all the other apps you want to add. I added a Bank of America app, I down downloaded a movie app, all sorts of things that while on the go I want to have access to. All right, so you can uh, download games, news, I mean there's seriously, there's so many apps. There's actually more than 10,000 apps you can get from the Android market and the cool thing is that you can actually toggle back and forth between your apps. Actually up to six apps you can toggle back and forth between. So uh, here's the Android market and this is how you can uh, download apps right to your phone. Super easy. You do not even need to hook up to a PC to do so. All right. Now let's say you want to see um, all of your apps. You just pull up this panel right here and there you go. Here are all my apps. I can 
sort through them. Uh, I downloaded Skype on here, Pandora, um, just some really cool things. Oh, there's my Bank of America so I can stay on top of my finances. Uh, but like I said, over 10,000 apps. Now the coolest thing about this phone is the camera. It's a 5.0 megapixel camera. You can access it by clicking this button right here. And look at this quality. It's pretty clear, pretty amazing. Looks like I need to powder my nose right now. Um, but overall it takes video and it also takes photos, 5 megapixel photos, okay? And what's great is that it has autofocus, it has uh, image stabilization, and look at this look at this quality just think it's a, a really really great camera now turning around front you'll see this flash right here this is actually an LED flash okay so it's a dual LED flash so between the autofocus the image stabilization and the dual LED flash you're not gonna take a bad picture now turning back around front in order to go from your camera to video you just boop turn that knob up and uh, now you're ready to record some video by hitting the record button. All right, we're officially recording. Hi, we're here on computer TV and the droid is awesome. All right, let's carry on with our tour. Up top, you have your power on and off, also your lock, and next to it is your headphone jack. Then on the side, USB port to charge and hook up to your computer. Another great feature on this phone is definitely Google Maps. So here we are in Google Maps and you can get turn by turn directions, voice guidance, all from your cell phone. There's no need to have a GPS in your car when you have a droid. And basically you just click on the menu icon and here pops up a, different, a couple different options. You can get directions. Um, and you can also join Latitude, which is a cool feature that people can actually go online and follow your every move. And let's, let's just check out directions for a second. All right. So basically, it works similar to the Google Maps you're used to from the web. Uh, you just put in your location, uh, and the, the, or it will find your location, um, and then you just put in your endpoint, how you're traveling uh, via car, bus, or by your own two feet, and you hit go, and you'll get voice navigation. So, very cool. You don't even have to have a GPS in your car any longer. Just get a droid. Now, when you're in layers, you can get uh, real-time traffic information and uh, also uh, get your latitude set up and get satellite information as well. Okay, so that's what layers does. Now, I must say I've been using Google Talk a lot, okay? Uh, and it's really cool. And actually, my phone has synced all of my contacts with uh, Facebook. So now people's Facebook pages are actually popping up. And um, I've been able to chat with everybody using the droid, okay? And actually, when you go into Facebook, just to show you what it looks like, here you can access your news feed, your friends. You can take a picture and easily upload it to Facebook, um, edit your profile, and check out all your notifications right here on the droid. So I've honestly been having so much fun, all right? And I'm actually getting used to the touchscreen. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, I'm not much of a touchscreen girl when it comes to the phone. I'm used to the BlackBerry, but between the touchscreen and the pullout uh, QWERTY keyboard, I am mastering the droid. I'm having so much fun with it. I honestly don't want to give it back. I'm just downloading more apps and trying out new things. And um, overall, I don't think you'll be upset at all with this phone. It's a great phone and you have the uh, superior service provided by Verizon. And Google just rocks the world. Seriously, Google is just amazing. The innovations they come up with. So overall, great phone. If you're thinking about switching, you're definitely going to want to check out the Droid the droid because it does it all all right so check it out i'm sam thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for more information on the droid just visit com.pewter.tv and type in droid into the search box for computer tv i'm sam